The Big Bang Theory for kids. Have you ever looked up at a clear night sky and wondered where all the stars and planets came from? Same here. That's why we are talking about something called the Big Bang Theory today. It's one of the theories or ideas that scientists have accepted as a possible explanation for the creation of our vast universe. Ready to learn more? Let's jump into our imaginary spaceships and take a trip across the galaxy. Set the dial to the year 1927. The Big Bang Theory was first suggested by a cosmologist, which is someone who studies the universe. That person was a priest named George Lemaitre. He thought that a very, very long time ago, the universe started as a single point, then expanded and stretched to get as huge as it is now. He even suggested that the universe continues to grow, even today. To check out this theory, let's get back in our spaceship and travel even further back in time to beep, boop, 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 14 billion years ago. The Big Bang Theory represents the idea that the universe resulted from an explosion. As hard as it is to imagine, scientists believe the entire universe fit inside a bubble, thousands of times smaller than a pinhead. Wow, that's mind-boggling. In the beginning, the universe was made up of hot, tiny particles mixed with light and energy. As everything stretched and grew, things started cooling down. The tiny particles grouped together and formed atoms. Then atoms grouped together over lots of time. We are talking millions and billions of years. These groupings of atoms came together to form stars and galaxies. As these new stars were being born and dying off, other things like asteroids, comets, planets, and black holes began to form together through the force of gravity, which is why newly formed planets began to rotate around their stars. Just like the planets in our solar system rotate around our sun. Oh my stars! Amazing! So, what about our solar system? Well, it was formed the same way, about four or five billion years ago. The Earth's sun, which is also a star, is about halfway through its current stable phase. Eventually, the sun will go through different phases and eventually die out, but not for another five billion years or so. Here's an interesting fact. The sun is just one star of more than about a hundred billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And the Milky Way galaxy is just one of billions of galaxies. It's so hard to imagine. Today, scientists are constantly studying and observing space, seeking out farthest and oldest galaxies to understand the beginnings of the universe. One important tool in this quest is the use of the Hubble Space Telescope. Named after Edwin Hubble, who was the first to notice that the universe was still expanding, just like George Lemaitre predicted. Even though we have learned a lot about how the universe works, there are still many unanswered questions out in the great unknown that astronomers and other scientists are still trying to answer. A force called dark energy, or matter, is thought to be the cause that is pulling the cosmos apart at faster speeds today than a long time ago. However, dark energy still remains a mystery because it cannot be detected or measured by the scientific tools we have today. Sounds like a great opportunity to create something new. See that asteroid up ahead? Let's take a break over there and review. What important tool that scientists use to study the universe is named after Edwin Hubble. The Hubble Space Telescope. Fill in the blank. Big Bang Theory creator George Lemaitre was a cosmologist and a blank. Priest. 
Which force causes the planets to revolve around a star? Did you remember gravity? Great job, space cadets! The Big Bang Theory is the most widely accepted theory explaining the beginning of the universe and its current growth. Nevertheless, there are many questions that remain unanswered, and there are new tools being developed all the time to help scientists answer those questions. Maybe someday, you will create something that will help us all better understand where the planets, stars, and galaxies came from. And maybe you will be one of the scientists to answer some of those questions. The possibilities are as endless as the universe. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.